Hey everybody, uh, hey everybody, thank y'all for watching. I uh, just want to make a uh, check in, a check up, kind of let you know what's going on, what's happened with me. Um, I know it's been a while, I'm sorry for that, but those of you who are still following along, I really appreciate it. Um, had some, I'm still struggling, still fat, obviously, you can see that, uh, but I haven't given up. I'm still holding it about 115, 120 pounds lost overall, and that's in about 14 months. I'm not happy with that, but, you know, I do understand that's still not a bad number. Um, been a little stagnant the past month or two. Uh, just really picked it back up. Um, no excuses, just, you know, normal ups and downs that I go through. Um I'm really pushing through trying to get to the point where I don't have the downs that um, even when something gets me and I get taken down, I get back up. Um, not completely there yet, but fortunately the downs don't last as long. You know, I don't fall off the wagon for six months anymore. It's for a couple of weeks and then I'm right back at it. Um, one of the things that kind of hit me was... Um, Realizing, you know, just wow, you've lost over 100 pounds and you're still horribly, disgustingly fat. I mean, that's really just, to be blunt, that's what hit me. I mean, when you've lost over 100 pounds and you're still over 500 pounds, it makes it difficult to celebrate that win. Um, everybody says I'm irrational. Everybody thinks it's crazy. But it is what it is. It's still, it's, it's difficult to appreciate, to celebrate a win when the road's so far. Um, and a hundred pounds off of me, that's like tossing a lawn chair off the deck of a cruise ship. It just, it's made some differences that I can feel, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a difference. Um, a lot of people can't even tell it by looking at me unless they're comparing side by side pictures. Um, so, you know, dealt with a little bit of feeling down over that. I let that get to me. Um, some personal stuff kind of got to me. Injured myself. Um, it's still done something to my wrist. And I don't know. I feel that bone poking out more there than I do on this one. Um, I think it was the first night that I moved up to using 75-pound uh, dumbbells on the uh, dumbbell presses. With my belly in the way, I don't have the luxury of sitting on my knees and kicking them up like you're supposed to. So I have to go back with them. And when I bumped up to 75s, I think when I went all the way back with them, I think I may have sprained it. Um, it still hurts. It had gotten a little better. Um, but then I just heard it again this other day, and I'll explain that to you. That's a funny story. But um, I couldn't lift heavy. So, But finally, what I started to do, I just switched over to cables. Um, the cables don't put as much stress on the wrist itself. And so I'm back doing that. <clears throat> new goal that I'm trying to reach, burn at least a thousand calories a day. Um, sounds crazy and outrageous, but at my size, it's doable. That's two and a half hours exercising a day. Um, what else is new? Oh, the funny part. Uh, so one of my big goals um, was to be able to get on the water in a personal watercraft, canoe or kayak, preferably kayak. And, you know, I've lost down enough to where I'm below the weight capacity of some of the high-end kayaks. But think about it, those are very high-end. Um, did some looking around. I couldn't find any that, you know, strong enough to carry my weight, but also that I could trade for or buy or whatnot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I ended up trading for on round one was an Old Town Guide 119 like 11 and a half foot solo canoe so for me i was like all right this is a good compromise it's not a kayak but it's not a big giant canoe and one of the things that led me to trade for that was a little bit of my ego uh my friend and i said something we're wanting to do this summer a lot uh picked her up a kayak already 
And I just, you know, my ego was like, man, you don't want to be out there in a 15 foot long, two, three person canoe when her little butt's over there in a little bitty nine and a half foot kayak. You'll feel even more like an ogre than you already do. So I was like, cool, solo canoe. Now I knew I was a little over the weight limit, but I was like, it's a canoe. It'll, you know, no, no big deal. So my brother went with me and found a place out on Gunners, what was easy to put in, put in, sat down, pushed out, and immediately capsized that sucker. It would not hold me. Um, if I can figure out the editing, I'll insert picture or video here. You know. Thing filled up with water. Um, it was a blow to the to me emotionally. Killed me. I mean, you want to talk about down, dark place, bad place. Oh, I was I was horrible. I sunk a boat. I mean, I got in. It filled up with water, and that was just oh, it was killing me. Uh, the same friend I plan on doing a lot of kayak canoeing with over the summer she was actually really great build me up um but i still got pretty dark i didn't get as bad as i would have without the build up but i got pretty dark um pissing people off with my attitude over the next week or so and then finally just you know pity partied for a while and then i pulled my boots back on metaphorically speaking and um, traded it for one of the big, giant, 14 and a half foot canoes. So what I traded for was an Old Town Saranac 146. So it's 14 and a half foot. It's got a 750 pound weight capacity. Weight capacity, fine. It's going to hold me. Um, the only issue there is it holding all my weight in one spot. Because it's made to hold 750 pounds spread out, not 530 pounds in one spot. Um, but I knew I had to sit in the middle. Now, somebody told me, no, 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 it's made where you can sit in the back. And I'm like, there's no way it's going to work. So anyway, brother and I, because everybody decided I don't need to try this by myself, took it to the lake. Good spot to ease it on the end. Um... Sit down in the back seat and just immediately, like, also have a problem sitting down that low. Um, and I'm probably going to show y'all that video too. It's horrible. My big belly gets shown, butt crack gets shown. Um, it actually probably makes for some YouTube gold if I want to do an embarrassment video. Great fat guy canoe fail. But I uh, sat down in the back, pushing the water, rolled it over on its side. <clears throat> More defeat feeling instantly poured on. But you know, I was like, you know what? I need to remember who I am. And who I am is a person that doesn't quit. Doesn't give up. And I win. Or do everything I can. And I was like, I know this thing will hold my weight. So I pulled it back on shore, turned it over, dumped it out. Put it half in the water, half on the shore plopped down in the middle seat and off I went. Now let me tell you what.
Hey, am I moving? Heck yeah! Join the Olympics! It was unsteady. Um, it holds my weight, but it ain't meant to hold that much weight in one spot. So I have to be really careful with my movements because even paddling too hard wants to make it roll, which I did. I ended up, uh, after I'd been out on it about 10 minutes, got into a good groove. I mean, I even made it through overriding some weight from other boats, but I got a good click going. I was back forth, back forth. I'm using a kayak paddle because I'm in the middle. And then just moved a little too much on one of the strokes and whoop, flipped again. And the water was shallow enough and I'm big enough that it actually pinned me to the bottom of the lake. Um, so I did the cartoon thing where I stuck my head up inside the canoe, got a breath of air, then flipped over on my back and then pushed the canoe off of me. Um, and then got back on it. Um, and it was funny because I just told my brother, I'm like, try to be careful because I go in the water again, we're done. And I went in the water again and I'm like, you know what? I'm not done. So I drug it back to shore because I can't get it in the water. I drug it back to shore, got it back up there, got back in it. And I was actually even launching it by myself. My brother didn't even have to help me push it off. <clears throat> and then I was able to paddle around for about another 20, 30 minutes. I did not get wet again until I actually decided to get out of the water. Um, any of y'all who watch for, you know, I've got a bad hip. It needs replacing. Um, wasn't able to do it very long because it was killing my hip from the angle I was setting and I couldn't adjust around to ease the pain because if I adjust, I'm going to flip it. So I'm probably going to add some outriggers to it to help stabilize. So I lose some more weight, but the fat guy canoe fell turned into a fat guy canoe win because I know I can do it. Even if it's just for an hour max. Great thing. Hour of canoeing at my weight. Burns darn near a thousand calories. So I'm going to try to work this in a couple times a week if possible. Um, and I'll put, video, I'll, I'll put in videos and pictures along the way too. Um, what else is going on? Oh, have my knees checked out by the orthopedic, orthopedic surgeon. They don't need replacing at this time, but they are eat up with arthritis. Also, my knees are killing me because when I fit, one of the times I fell in the water, knees went right on down some rocks. So both kneecaps are bruised. Um, that's pretty much my update. I'm just pushing along. I'm trying. I haven't quit. Um, now that the weather's getting prettier, it's getting warmer, probably going to do more videos, uh, more outdoor stuff. Actually, I think I got a silly video with some friends I'm going to do this weekend um, if we decide to video it. And it, nothing to do with the weight loss, but uh, probably funny. Uh, so from here, um, I'm just trying to keep my eating straight, trying to keep exercising. Oh, I found a um, gym closer to me that does offer a pool so I don't have to drive down and back up the mountain again to go get in the pool three or four days a week. So as soon as I get paid, because I am broke, 
y'all want help with that, you know, feel free. Um, but it's cheap. It's only 35 a month. It has an indoor pool. Uh, opens at 4 a.m. And it's in a smaller town, which is, you know, next to me because I live in a small town. So it's actually um, won't be as crowded. So, you know, that's the goal moving forward. That's that's the plan moving forward. Um, getting the water more. Now that it's getting pretty on days it won't rain, I'll be able to get out and say walk, hobble around and still lifting weights. Um, as always, thanks y'all for uh, tuning in. Uh, appreciate any prayers, good feelings, vibes that you may get, have for me. And I'll link some stuff in my description about different accessories I use for filming and stuff we might have seen in the video with the canoe and stuff. Anyway, um, again, thanks. Y'all have a great day. Roll Tide.